there my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing uh the monthly videos or reading sorry <laughs> the monthly videos for all zodiac signs um this is going to be for taurus sun moon rising and venus how are you doing taurus i hope you guys are doing amazing i hope you're staying strong let's get into your reading let's see what spirit has we're going to be pulling out tarot cards once we receive those messages we will be going into the oracle cards here so let's get into your reading now your first card here is the knight of coins so for some of you guys going towards some type of achievement uh, some type of um new endeavor uh for some of you guys this could be um a completion or going towards a completion of something some type of uh, whether it be in your finances, whether it be in relationships, partnerships, anything like that. Uh, we also have here the judgment card. So we definitely see people from the past coming back around six of coins, um, you know, talking about something that was imbalanced here with the eight of cups. Someone walked away. OK, so what they're showing me here with the knight of cups for some of you guys, this could be directly connected to a relationship or some type of partnership judgment. There was a decision that was made, the six of coins, a decision that was very difficult to make. And it could have been like long in the making. Uh, it could have been almost a situation where you kind of didn't want to make a choice because it was such a difficult uh, decision that needed to be made. However, uh, spirit and the universe had to step in to show you the imbalance, uh, to show you um, the ungratefulness or to show you what this connection or how this connection was so very much imbalanced. Someone was giving too much, the other was taking uh, too much. Now with the Eight of Cups, I definitely see somebody making a decision to walk away. This could have been you or this could have been your partner, Taurus. However, what I'm seeing here is there is certain attributes that are leading me to believe that there are certain things that you're stuck on, Taurus. So what I mean by stuck on is not wanting to take self-responsibility or not wanting uh, to make changes because they get you out of your comfort zone. But then when you look at things or when things unfold, when the universe steps in to give you that push, you still don't want to you don't want to move forward. You're wanting to look to, towards the past to see if there's any type of potential uh, that there may be something that can be fixed in this connection or that I should have put more effort in or that should I, should I have sacrificed more, that type of energy. So it's almost like a martyr type of energy that I'm seeing here. And what they're telling you is, that it is important for you to understand you can't sit there and ask for growth and expect the universe to do everything for you, okay? If you are in an unhappy connection or unhappy relationship, you can't sit there and complain about what things when things are going wrong because you are refusing to move. You are refusing to make a move, to change, to make some type of decision. Now, when we have certain lessons in our life that we need to learn, that we need to master in order to take it to the next level, in order for us to ascend to a higher purpose, a higher uh, energy, if we don't do the work of trying to self-actualize and self-realize, and with that, it comes taking self-responsibility, when we don't do that, the universe will get to a point where they will continue shoving you down the same tunnel until you get it. And if you don't get it, those connections that you're so, you know, holding on to dear life, they're going to start to show certain, certain behaviors that you did, you would never think they were capable of doing. And the reason for that is because you're not wanting to make changes. So universe is going to do what it has to do to shake things up in your life so that you can either snap out of it or figure out, you know what, 
you can stay in this connection or in this relationship or you could keep entertaining the fact that they keep coming back telling you, I promise I'm going to change. With the six of coins, I don't see that happening. With the six of coins, this is actually the, the, the reverse, meaning every time you guys, there is a breakup or some type of separation, they promise that they're going to be better, they're going to do better, they come back around and they keep treating you worse and worse and worse. With the Eight of Cups, there you need to walk away from this connection. This connection is no bueno for you. Now you have the King of Wands. You may be dealing with fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I also see um, water energy here with the Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces type of energy. We have the Six of Cups. So for some of you guys, it's dealing with this connection um, because of children or because you have children with them. Or because uh, Six of Cups can also represent a very, very long connection. This is someone that you've known for a very long time. This is a relationship that you've invested very much time into. Um, you know, but with the Ace of Cups here underneath the Six of Coins, you are keeping yourself from true happiness. You're keeping yourself from true love, Taurus. Uh, it's like... And here's the thing, whether you're ready or not, there's new love coming in for you guys. With the Ace of Cups here uh, and the Six of Coins, this is a more balanced relationship. This is a partnership where the person that is coming in is willing to put the effort if you're willing to put the effort. They are not about lies. They're not about temporary feelings, meaning with this X energy um you know, I don't want you. And then next month they don't have you. And it's like, I want you that type of, no, this is like quite the opposite. This is a more balanced energy, but what they're telling you here with the two of coins there, it, there's this income, there's this consistent instability in your life. When we're talking about relationships, it could be that you have a tendency of wanting to mother or wanting to nurture your partners. It could be that the moment you meet a person that is mature and knows exactly what they want, they kind of bore you or you kind of, you don't feel challenged enough and you deal with someone that is immature, that is inconsistent and there is a feeling of, well, they've been through so much, they've done this, they've done that, I, I need to be supportive, I need to, yeah, you do, but they have to give that in return. It can't just be you, the one that's babying or nurturing them because you're not a mom, you're not their dad. Uh, people need to grow up and no matter how hard or how difficult life has been for them or for you, it doesn't give them an excuse or it doesn't give you an excuse to be a shitty person. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is it's time for you to guard your energy, Taurus. It's time for you to invest only in those that are willing to invest in you. It's time for you to love yourself. It's time for you to no longer deal with people that are always telling you what they've done for you. Because you're not that type of person. There is nothing you will not do for a person that you love. But if this person is continuously talking to you about what they've done for you, just to make you feel less than them, like, no, this is toxic type of energy and you shouldn't be dealing with it. Um... And what they're showing me here is, again, with the judgment card, there was a decision that was made to walk away from an imbalanced situation. Um, moving forward with the King of Wands, there is a need for you to be more confident and believe more in yourself or in your power. With the Six of Cups, stop looking to the past or feeling like there is some type of connection or history repeating itself, whether it was something that your dad or your mom went through. And now <coughs> you feel like, Maybe I have to go through this. No, you are the only person that creates your own life. Whatever you settle with or whatever you don't settle for um, and try to aim higher, that's exactly where your self-worth is at. So as an example, if you have a tendency of feeling like the people that you connect with could only give you temporary type of love and, and that's what you feel and that's why you settle, well, that shows or that speaks about the type of love you have for yourself. Whenever you feel the need to put up with certain situations that you wouldn't normally put up with, but because you feel like you've invested too much in this relationship, you keep dealing with that, 
that is speaking about the love of confidence and trust and believe in yourself because you know deep down inside your heart that you deserve to be treated better. All right, let's see what Spirit's messages are for you here, what their direct messages are. Yeah, so what they're telling you for the month of February, uh, Taurus, I think you're going to be dealing with a person from the past that is wanting to come back. Uh, and they're wanting to come back and it could have been the same person that wanted either to walk away or that pushed you to walk away. And I feel that this is not the first time that it's happened. So if you're dealing with that type of energy, my advice for you is walk away from that. If you've tried on multiple occasions and it just has not panned out, it's not going to pan out. And what you're doing is you are basically stopping your progress you are not allowing yourself to fully heal to be able to get stronger and be able to walk away completely and no longer entertain that type of energy. What they're telling you is walk away from what is not serving you because there is love coming in, love that is deserving of you. Okay. Now your first card here is get away. So I feel that this is exactly what you need to do. You need to stop going back to the past. You need to stop focusing on what they're going through and excusing the behaviors that they've done. It's time for you to be present and understand that time is passing and no one should ever wait for anyone. If an energy or a person is just not ready for your energy, don't waste your time. You have truth. Certain things where you feel like they've been unclear or like you don't have a very clear indication of one, what went wrong, what propelled them to push you to that limit or what, you know, was the reason for them to be the ones to walk away, things are going to be unfolding. You're going to be, light is going to be shining on that which has been hidden. But this can also speak about getting to the point of walking away from this type, this type of toxic energy to realizing the truth behind it. And the truth behind that or with any relationship is that we put up with certain things in our life based on what we think of ourselves. And your next card here is diligence. So what they're saying here is, again, I feel that this energy is giving me almost vibes of like you've been dealing with this for a while. Um, you have to be smart. You have to use your head. Stop listening to your heart. Because I feel that when you listen to your heart, you make irrational decisions because you are being guided by emotion. And if this is a habit or this is something that you've been through in the past with the same person or dealing with the same inconsistency, what they're telling you is that you need to be more diligent in making decisions or allowing them to come back or even giving them another opportunity. Use your mind. Don't listen to your heart because it will lead you astray at the present time. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of guidance, some type of understanding, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.